Welcome back, people of the Most High God, Jesus Christ. Today's message is called Mystery of Hinduism and the Mark of the Beast, Brahma, the God of Four Heads. So let's get into this. We're going to come back to this little picture right here. All right. So I want to reveal to you something that God showed me about about the coming deception. Right. In Hinduism, what part is going to play now? If you now if you watched uh, what was that some uh, at some uh, political thing, uh, some 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 person of Congress uh, prayed to prayed to Brahma, right? And Vishnu, right? Well, I, I'm about to, I'm about to show you something about about these false gods, right? These are the gods of forehead markings, right? Think about this: Brahma has. Four heads, get it? The God of four heads. You get it? Also, like I said, take note of how in Hinduism, there's a practice of marking your forehead, right? Okay, but let's, let's get into what some of these symbols mean. says the most peculiar feature found amongst Hindus of India is the practice of painting sacred marks on the forehead. What does this mean? Amongst very devout, devout ritualists, marks are not restricted to the forehead. Marks are put in different parts of the body, such as the ears, the forearms, the chest, the neck, and even the abdomen. But the most important part to paint remains the forehead. The forehead is special as it draws attention to the human brain. Right? So so think about this, right? In the Bible, it says, 1 Corinthians 10.20, it says, But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not God. And I would not that ye would have have fellowship with devils right so the bible makes it clear that any other god outside of jesus christ is is of satan right so already you can see that even if you don't realize it if you put if you put one of these marks on your forehead even if you're practicing hinduism you're 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 putting a, a satanic mark on your on your forehead right Also, right, is this this is why the Bible says the uh the whole world will be deceived by sorceries, right? By all nations were were deceived by sorceries, right? Because anything outside of of Christianity, out of out of out of the Bible, outside of the Bible is sorcery, right? So let's keep reading, right? It says, the meaning of marks may differ, but with the understanding of the believers. Okay, so it says, Major, majorly, majorly, Brahmins made Hinduism use a, a mark of straight line for man and dot symbol for woman. Married women use a straight line in their, in their main. It meant something, but most of the Hindu followers don't know this. Right. So they also mark themselves. Right. As to, to show that they're married. Right. Think about this. Right. Think about this. Think about this. Ephesians 5, 29 through 32 reads this. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished it and cherished it, even as the Lord, the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning the church. Ephesians 5, 29 through 32. But I say that to show you 
that that Satan wants to counterfeit this principle, right? He wants to counterfeit this principle. So when you take the mark of the beast, you are married to the beast, right? Now let's get back to this, right? Now something else I want to reveal to you is about the spirit of hip hop and how it's going to be used to uh to push all these agendas, right? So you see this 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 man right here making it fashionable to have to have something to have something embedded in your forehead, right? This man this man has this man has a jewel surgically embedded in his forehead, right? So Genesis, Genesis 10, verse 8, and Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth, right? Right? So you know Nimrod was considered the first antichrist, right? But his kingdom, he, 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 was, he was begat from the kingdom of Cush. If you know anything about the kingdom of Cush, you will know that is where, that is, that is, that is where, that is, that is the kingdom that was, that was ruling during the days of uh, the Tower of Babel. That's where you get all this uh, Nubianism from and all this, uh, all the all the all the, all the uh, Nubian Nubianness and all that all the the uh, the unk the uh, whole the whole doctrine of hip hop that uh, that that uh, brand Nubian and uh, what's what's the other African bambata the uh, the child molester that 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 is what that is what they teach that is where this comes from. And you know the book of Ecclesiastes says nothing new under the sun, right? So that is a for that is a prophecy to let you know that the same that same spirit that introduced the Antichrist will be the same spirit that does it again, right? So think about this, right? This is what this is what all the yoga was for. This is why this is why yoga became so popular because they wanted to use Hinduism. They wanted to make it acceptable, right? That way that way the tradition of marking your forehead cannot seem so strange if they introduce this this religion that already requires marking your forehead. Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put the link to this article in the description. But I definitely don't think it's a coincidence that in the uh, in the Congress they up there they up here praying to praying to Brahma, knowing knowing the times we're living in, and and that these uh this this false religion marks their forehead. As a, also marks it as a form of showing that they're married, right? I just thought I'd share that. Be blessed in Jesus' name.